Speaking of disappointing, Hillary Clinton now, shall I say, changing her tone on the email scandal? Listen to this. My use of personal email was allowed by the State Department. It clearly wasn't the best choice. I should have used two emails, one personal, one uh, for work, um, and I take responsibility for that decision. And I want to be as transparent as possible, which is why I turned over 55,000 pages, uh, why I've turned over uh, my server. All right. Uh, this is why she may be, may be changing her tone. Look at this poll. Biden polled 18% nationally, and he's not even declared that he's running. While Hillary dropped to a 45% support level. That's down roughly 10 points from the last national Quinnipiac poll, which was around three weeks ago. How about this? The words most associated with Hillary Clinton are liar, dishonest, untrustworthy. Lanny Davis is here. He's former counsel to Bill Clinton. Lanny, welcome to the program. That must be kind of a shock to anybody who is in the Clinton camp, a Clinton supporter. That kind of words used to describe the candidate. What do you say? Well, Stuart, what I say is it's not shocking that it is for you, but for others on this network, for you to have such a one-sided, almost Saturday Night Live negative slant in your introduction. So let me give you two <laughs> facts that you forgot to mention. Well, what, and what, I mean what, what, it. Why don't you answer that? Come on, why don't you, you answer I'm, that? Those, I will, that's a I will answer. poll. That is a national, I, respected poll. Are you going to let me answer? Would, yes. But I You've want, had plenty I want of to time. the question, You've had plenty of time without me. Why are you going to let me answer, Stuart? Yeah. Let so you answer, I was in the middle of you answering. To answer the question, and the question I was, in the was middle of answering, how is it and you're in the Clinton camp when you've got those three Are words you going to used be to describe over me, Stuart? Are you I going just to talk want to know. Me? I just want to know. I want to know whether to you're going to talk over me or let me answer. If you answer the question, go. Thank you. There are two facts that you omit. The Gallup poll just published shows that Hillary Clinton has over 70 percent favorables among Democrats, and nothing has changed over the last two months. Fact number two, real clear politics in the last four weeks average poll has Hillary Clinton defeating every Republican. And fact three, she is leading in every major primary state in Iowa. She has a 30 percent lead, and mm -hmm. Vice President Biden is in single digits. Now, one of those three facts did you mention in your negative and very slanted okay. introduction. Now will you answer my question, which is, how do you react to those three words being used by voters in the Quinnipiac poll? Liar, dishonest, untrustworthy. What's your reaction to that? My reaction to those three words is that that's a poll of a national sample mm -hmm. reflecting Republicans who are hateful towards Hillary Clinton. I don't know what percentages you're talking about. There are margins of error. So I'm not at all surprised that there are certain people in the country who use those sorts of words and that Hillary Clinton has been pounded for the last several months and that those words are going to arise in anecdotal ways. You haven't given me percentages of how many people use those words, so I don't take what you've just described as serious data that we should take seriously. I'll tell you that in the same poll, the number of people expressing those very negative words and opinions about Hillary Clinton was far higher than the number of people describing Trump, for example, as arrogant. So I gave you the number within the Democratic Party that's going to nominate the next president, the first female president, for 70 percent favorable towards Hillary. Now, do you have a response to that? fact that you omitted in your reporting on this show? Yes, I find it surprising that, uh, that uh, Vice President Biden, who has not even declared, still gets almost one in five voters in that Quinnipiac poll. I find well, that a surprise. I, I, I'm not surprised that you find it a surprise that Vice President Biden <laughs> is a great man with 100 percent ID, has 18 percent in third place behind Bernie Sanders, and you depict that as a positive fact because your entire presentation is a no, negative slant in I one see, direction, I found it interesting. which surprises me for Stuart Varney. It I, wouldn't I, surprise me I, I in the other shows, but I, I for just you, find it of interesting. all people, it surprises me. I, no, I really find it interesting that Biden has such a lot of support. He's vice president of the United States. 
He's running in third place with 18 percent. He's a great man. I hope he runs. It'll make Hillary's nomination more valuable. But the fact that you, of all people, slant an 18 percent third place showing with 100 percent name ID in eight years as vice president as a positive sounds like a Saturday Night Live satire of biased journalism. Well, thank you very much, Lanny. It was a pleasure okay. to have you on the program. Nice smile. Me too. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised at you, Stuart, and uh, right, that's the way you, you've become, I guess. I don't know what's happened to you, but that's now where you are. Well, that was a nice insult. But do come again, Lanny. It was a pleasure through and through. And I think the viewers will love it. Lanny